Okay, I can see that you're watching my videos, so probably you want to know how to start training with weapons. And the answer for this question is quite simple. Get a weapon, find a friend, and fight. Okay, so let's get serious. In the perfect world, you could just join a Hima or fencing school in your hometown. But the reality is that in not all cities you have this kind of school, so in this situation you can stick to the plan what I show you in the beginning of the video. Get some weapon, find a friend and train with him. After these three steps you can study books or our days you can find a lot of videos and tutorials how to use the weapons or you can figure out by yourself because you know every weapon have a, some limited way how to use it so I'm pretty sure that you can figure out by yourself. Basically you have to cut with the sharp part and stab with the pointy part. Only what you need is a sparring partner with who you can train and in the fight you're going to see which techniques works or which not. So you can select the fantasy ones from the real ones. But let's talk about the weapons. So, at the beginning I recommend you to make your own weapons. You can use the stick or something like this, like self-made katana. And uh, I make this from PVC pipe and foam. And I add the wood inside so it's heavier. So you can hit and you can feel it and have some weight. So it's a good starter because you can go almost full contact with your partner and no one will get serious injury. So I recommend you to get uh, your homemade uh, weapons for the beginning because you don't know yet if you want to do it until you try it. So why you should use a lot of money for the beginning and after maybe you will not use this anymore. And I will not lie to you, this hobby is not the cheapest hobby. So self-made weapons for the beginning is a good idea. If you are too lazy to make your own homemade uh, weapon, you can go for the cheaper option and this is going to be a LARPing sword. They look cool, but I do not recommend them because they are very light and very really soft and you can go full contact with them, but they will not hurt you. And you know, in this hobby, getting hit is a part of the game and as somebody said before, pain is the best teacher. So if you get hit once and you will feel it, then next time you're going to try to avoid it. So you're going to dodge, you're going to parry, you're going to block. Basically, you're going to try to avoid it. So they look cool and you can choose a lot of different options, but I would not recommend you them. From another hand, we have uh, this foam heavy sparring weapons. I really like them. I highly recommend them. Those are from Gonao PL, but I can see that a lot of companies making this kind of weapons. They are really nice because they have some weight. They are still with foam, so you don't need a lot of protections. But I still recommend you to have some headgear or gloves for them. But about this later. So I highly recommend you those because they have some weight, they are still safe and you can go full contact with your partner and no one will get serious hurt. Maybe. Next step probably is going to be a synthetic weapon and those are pretty cool because they have a weight and they already look like a real one and when you train it's quite safe because they bend. Wooden weapons will not bend so this is a better option if you're looking for safety and yeah. Right now I'm training mostly with the synthetic weapons and they are cool but because I don't use so much uh, protections you have to go a little bit lighter and more technical but I really like to coming back for these ones because you can go full contact and you can do crazy stuff so this is cool and this is cool and after this one probably next step is going to be a steel weapon which I don't have it yet but maybe in the future but let's talk about the protections on the beginning you can use the normal basic MMA gloves it depends what kind of weapon you're going to use but if you use some weapon with the guard then you can just use uh, MMA gloves because your fingers are inside so you will not get hurt but you're still protected from outside but if you're going to use weapons without guard then your fingers are exposed so you can get hit here and it's not a good idea to have uh, this kind of gloves if you don't want to use money for gloves you can make your own and I make those from the normal uh, working gloves and I just cut the foam and glue to them and they work pretty well 
you can hold swords pretty well and you are protected from outside. Personally, I am using uh, kendo gloves. They are pretty good and they are good enough for me, for my training. But you cannot use them for all weapons, you cannot use them for rapier example, because you cannot use your uh, fingers. I don't know the prices for them because I get them used from my old friend. But yeah, they are pretty good for me and I'm using them a lot, as you can see. So let's go for the headgear. If you don't want to use so much money for equipment, then you can get one of those uh, kickboxing uh, headgears with face mask. This is pretty good for those weapons because you are protected from almost all sides and you cannot get hit to the face so it's safe for this but I make a few times mistake that I use this headgear for sparring with the synthetic weapons and the synthetic weapons can go through this so I will stab it in my face so I do not recommend you this ones for fighting with the synthetic weapons right now because I start training with synthetic weapons I get this fencing mask but this is really old fencing mask it's not that fancy like uh, this Hema mask with this padding inside. It's a really simple and really old. I get this on flea market, really cheap, and it's still working, so I'm using. So maybe in the future I'm going to get a better one. Those, you know, more fancy, what Hema practitioner is using. But we'll see. So I think I have nothing more to say about this topic. So I hope that I helped you a little bit and you get some useful information from me. And thank you for watching. See you next time.